Hey and welcome to the Leftover Culture Review, the only review show on the internet that is a place that always knows your name and we're always really happy that you came. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about something that I'm really, like, really excited about and that is Atari Jaguar emulation. Atari Jaguar emulation has always been pretty terrible. That's one reason I really enjoy owning the system so much. I've done so many Atari Jaguar reviews just because I want to share these games with people but I don't think everyone is willing to fork out the money and the, and, and the cash and find all these Atari Jaguar games for themselves. So I've always really enjoyed reviewing the system and sharing some of these games with you guys. But it turns out Atari Jaguar emulation is a lot better than I ever expected. I have a friend over on Facebook at the moment putting together like a retro guess. Uh, style game where you need to guess images of retro video games and he came to me and he was talking about the Atari Jaguar and we we're talking about Alien vs Predator and games like that and I always thought um, looking at emulators like Virtual Jaguar and Project Tempest there are games that emulate well for the Atari Jaguar but it's not consistent it's not consistent at all but he put up a screenshot of Alien vs Predator and I always always can tell when someone's using an emulator because the sprites don't have transparency. All the sprites in the game, the colonial marines, the aliens and predators, will have like a black bounding box around them. Uh, but his didn't. His didn't because he found um, probably the best way to emulate Atari Jaguar games and that's through a front-end program called RetroArch over here. So essentially what it is, is a it, it's like a front-end UI that loads different um, emulation cores and you can load all your games through it and it's a really sleek looking system. The difference is the virtual Jaguar emulator available through a RetroArch here has been actively uh, worked on. Uh, if you go to the virtual Jaguar website and you try and download the latest emulator they have available, you'll probably see that it was last updated in like 2014. This one here has been consistently updated and it works really, really well. I haven't been able to use it for any of my reviews just because there are still some slight graphical glitches and slight uh, sound issues and I've had just <laughs> trouble playing the games because of the controller and, and how convoluted the Atari Jaguar control pad can be, especially with the, the numpad. Um, but I've had a lot of success trying out um, Atari Jaguar games. Some of them have a lot of frame rate issues, but even then they seem to run like pretty consistent. Games like Fight for Life, I actually prefer playing through the emulator just because the game's been sped up. It feels more intense, it feels more polished, and it's doing things that the Atari Jaguar probably just couldn't do at that speed. So. It's a quirk, it's a bug, but you can experience these games for yourself. So I've recently put out a video, the top five, you know, Atari Jaguar games that I would consider holding on to, um, you know, how I would start my Atari Jaguar collection. And I had games on there like Fight for Life, for example, um, Alien vs Predator. These games work really well through the virtual Jaguar emulator available on RetroArch. So I really recommend if you're keen on seeing these Atari Jaguar games for yourself, go ahead and check them out. Because now, you really can. So there's obviously a lot of games that run really well. I'm still not going to sell my Jaguar just yet because RetroArch isn't perfect. There's still so many bugs, so many quirks, and so many games that just aren't running, you know, at the rate they should be yet. Um, Iron Soldier is a great example of a game that's been really difficult to emulate. Uh, still not working for me through the Virtual Jaguar here, and, and that's okay. It's a lot closer than anything I've discovered by downloading the emulators um, individually on their own. I recently put in a fair bit of research trying to get Cybermorph running via emulator just because I really wanted to record some footage of Cybermorph. And and this is the first time I've ever seen it, you know, actually working on an emulator. So it's a really big win for me. I really hope you guys have the opportunity to check some stuff out. Games like Iron Soldier I haven't had much luck with. I really enjoyed reviewing that one because I did think it was a real standout for the Atari Jaguar. It's a really common game, really worth picking up.
this isn't going to replace my Atari Jaguar. It's just really cool knowing that I can play some of these Atari Jaguar games via emulator. I can talk about them and I can share them with you and maybe you can check out a couple of games too. So thanks for sticking with me. If you do want to watch some Atari Jaguar reviews, I have got bucket loads. So go nuts, have fun, and I will catch you again soon with more leftover culture. Cheers. Hey, have you ever wanted to support the leftover culture review? Well, now is an opportunity to. I've had the Leftover Culture Review store for a really long time, but I've been slowly trying to add some new, unique artwork, stuff that I've been working on to it. I recently got this shirt through it. It is cockroaches around a sort of like a Ben Sherman red rundle. Um, I think it's a really cool way that you can get something for helping out. I'm not asking you for money. I'm asking you to, if there's something there that you think is cool, if you need a gift for a grandmother or a co-worker or even just for yourself, you can head over to the Leftover Culture Review store and pick up something awesome and I will get like a little commission off the back of that. So I really appreciate it. You're helping me out. If not, <clears throat> Totally cool too. You can also head over to the Leftover Culture Review website and download the Bruiser video game. Mall madness for free. Windows, computers only, but it's it's worth buying a PC for. You are Bruiser. You're playing as me and you've lost your mum in the store, but you've got to get back to the meeting point before you get grounded. The only problem is everyone in the mall is out for your blood, so you need to blast your way through the mall, take out all your opposition, and then get back to the car as quickly as possible. You'll be basically living a day in my life. I can't think of a better present to get you guys. So, the Leftover Culture Review video game, more madness over on the website. Check it out, Leftover Culture Review store, if you're dying to buy someone a gift. Uh, it's a great opportunity to do it. Cheers guys, thank you so much for watching the show and I will catch you next time on the Leftover Culture Review.